Basically, we just want to congratulate our members and our structures for participating in this election very peacefully without any significant instances of violence. Uh, we need to congratulate them for that. It is a, a clear indication of an embracing of the spirit of the new dispensation. The president was very clear, you know, go and vote peacefully, follow the rules and guidelines prescribed by the party's constitution, don't deviate, follow those to the spirit and letter, and those who misbehave or engage in any form of unruly behavior, the long arm of the law must catch up with them and the party's disciplinary arm will deal with them. So we are very happy that uh, there were no such incidents in our membership abide by the rules and regulations. In terms of the results, of course, yeah, we know that um, the nation is very anxious. You are also anxious, aren't you? It's of course that uh, when the ruling party coughs everything and everyone catches a sneeze. So we know that uh, people are anxiously waiting for the results of these uh, elections, internal party elections. I can assure you that those elections will be coming swiftly. Uh, right now we are receiving the results from the, the provincial command centers. They are still trickling in and verification and collation of those results is still happening. And uh, of course, once the National Elections Directorate endorses the outcome and deals with uh, what may be complaints from other candidates, uh, you know, those results will then be ready to be announced. It's just a matter of procedure, isn't it? But uh, otherwise, in terms of uh, the voting process, we are satisfied that uh, you know, things went well. And uh, of course, the final arbiter is the National Elections Directorate. But what is most important is to congratulate our members. To those that have won, yes, congratulations, wherever they are, while we'll wait for the results. To those that have lost, uh, I can tell you there's no winner, there's no loser in ZANPF. Everyone is a winner. So, of course, they must be ready themselves, they must avail themselves. That was the instruction of the president. On the just ended 358th uh, ordinary session of the political, that happened on this, on this side of the year that those would not have made it. It's not a matter of always contesting each other or contesting outcomes. Let's avail ourselves for redeployment to ensure that everyone is geared to work for the party come 2023. By the way, uh, you know, uh, the target now is to ensure that we complete the 2018 manifesto in terms of delivery. That is what the president is seized with under NDS1 and the vision 2030. And then the next target is 2023. All parts departments and systems and structures were advised and directed by the first sector and the president who is our candidate and disputed candidate for that matter in for 2023 presidential elections to start working for 2023 elections by way of registering themselves to vote mobilizing party supporters and sympathizers and everyone to register themselves as voters because it's one thing to be a supporter a sympathizer a member in the structures but it's another thing to be a registered voter. We have a membership that is over 4 million now, but that membership becomes very useful when it is transformed practically into voting numbers so that we can win our election resoundingly. Or the National Elections Directorate is still processing those and uh, the National Political Commissar is also still processing complaints and the reports coming out, of course. So once all that process is done, uh, results can be announced. By the way, these results do not belong to us, they belong to the public, the generality of the membership that voted. So the results are theirs. Uh, there's nothing fishy that is going on, I should say. In fact, uh, uh, announcement of these results, I can assure you, will be done swiftly, but it's just a matter of procedure to ensure that uh, you know the process moves on smoothly as it happened. The voting process was smooth, uh, the organization was smooth, and uh, therefore, it is only expectable that uh, the finalization of the whole process must also be smooth. Therefore, there is no need to hurry or cut before the horse. We just advise people to wait patiently while the results are coming. And I can assure you that once they are available, the spokesperson, Comrade Chris Mchangwa, and the National Political Commissar, uh, Dr. Mike Bima, of course, under the directive from the National Election Directorate, and uh, Dr. Robert Mpof, who is in charge of the command center, will be able to release those results as soon as possible when they are available.